Hello everybody, this is just gonna be a really quick video. I just came home from the doctor and it was quite a long trip. <sighs> Going to the doctor with the COVID virus out there is really, really not an easy thing to do these days, but uh, it was time for my checkup and I had to go. So uh, what I wanted to do is because I really ran behind on my eating schedule, it is almost three o'clock in the afternoon and I haven't had breakfast or lunch. Now on keto, that's fine because intermittent fasting is part of that and it can be really helpful. But when you have type two diabetes like I've gotten, and I haven't had that all my life. I just got it within the last, I think at the end of April when I was eating so poorly. So um, anyway, I have to be aware of my eating and try to kind of keep things on an even keel. So I wanted to share with you something that I do pretty regularly when I'm in a rush and I need something to eat quickly and, and I want it to be you know keto friendly and I want it to be something that's healthy and nutritious as well. So what I've done is I've taken three pieces of uh, cut up you know the the prepackaged rotisserie chicken that's in a package comes by one of those popular um, companies that process meats I think they have a big hot dog <laughs> you might know who I'm talking about but anyway um, so I've just laid three of them on the plate and what I'm going to do is I've already washed my lettuce and I have a tip for you um, I wanted to share um, when I wash it, I don't wash it in cold water. I wash it in really hot water. I mean really hot water and I just run it. I don't even have to get my fingers in there because I just run it under that hot water, shake it out a few times and it's ready to go. So I love the uh, romaine lettuce for that purpose, but I always run it in that very hot water and it actually seems to stay fresher longer when I do that. Now what I don't use, I'll put in a a container and, and stick that in the fridge and use it in the next few days, but um, definitely an easy way to go. I'm going to be putting one of those, I'm going to be using these as my little holder when I finish up here. So, all right, so what we've got, we've got the three pieces of the rotisserie chicken. I prefer that over the turkey sometimes. Oh, I have some cheese and I, I bought the block cheese, so I I keep a good supply of cheese and you probably will too with keto because really it's something that you need to have as a staple in your house. I'm going to lay one on each. Uh, maybe I need a little bit more there. And what I got was the Kerrygold and it's the aged cheddar and I really like it. I think it's a really good cheese. So of course it's grass fed cows and, and I like that too. Okay, so we got a piece of cheese on each of those. And then I've got a little bit of Romano I like to mix up cheeses and combine them a little bit. Um, just gives a little extra flavor, I think, and I don't need much. So I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of Romano on each one of those. Okay, and then we're just gonna take some baked cheddar cheese. So I actually am putting three types of cheese on, but I'm not using very much. Okay, so there we go. There we have it with the cheese. Looks good, huh? And I have a little bit of red pepper that was just around, so I'm gonna put a couple of little pieces of that on each one. So I'm building like a little taco, but not a taco. And of course, I guess you're either an onion person or not an onion person, and I am an onion person. So, <laughs> what can I say? That's how my mama raised me. But uh, I like a little onion on each one, so I sliced up some red onion. And I'm gonna just put a couple pieces on, on each round. And then, to top that off, I have a tomato in the refrigerator, and wow, look at that nice tomato. I think, well, oh, I would love to be growing my own tomatoes so much, but where I'm living, I just can't. So I have to just try to deal with it. Anyway, I'm going to put a few slices of tomato on there, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut my slices of tomato, okay, and I'm going to pop these. They're ready to go with the ingredients that I do have on, on them. So I'm going to pop those right into the microwave oven. Now, you don't want to go too much. You don't want to go too little. So I'm going to start with 30 seconds and do another 30 seconds and possibly another 30 seconds. Or I guess you could try one minute, but I think that might be too much. So here we go. 30 seconds. 
hey guys I made the Parmesan garlic Parmesan flatbread oh my gosh I have some here in my bowl and I've got three big pieces so delicious so that's gonna be my little treat to go with my chicken rounds okay let's see so I'm not happy with that at 30 seconds so I'm gonna pop it in just a little bit longer I like the cheese to be good and melted and I'm gonna put a little mayonnaise on mine so I'm gonna have lettuce tomato mayo the onions the red pepper and of course the chicken and and my delicious garlic Parmesan flatbread okay so that looks perfect now perfect Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of lettuce and I'm just going to transfer that right onto the lettuce piece. Just like that. Put that there. Get another piece of lettuce. Top that right on top. Mm -hmm. I'm getting hungry. No breakfast, no lunch. It's three o'clock. Oh, okay. I don't know about you, but life kind of goes that way sometimes, doesn't it? It's three o'clock in the afternoon, you still haven't eaten breakfast, you still haven't eaten lunch. It's just the way it goes. So this is really a nice thing to have in your uh, arsenal, your food arsenal, your food toolbox. Anyway, um, that's that. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna top that with a tomato, just because I love tomatoes. And that will give me my, vet. well, it's a fruit really, isn't it? But it seems like a vegetable. Okay, so I've got that. And then simply, I'm gonna take the back of a spoon because it's easier to spread your mayo when you use the back of your spoon and, and I don't really care to use a knife at this point because I don't have to cut anything. So I'm gonna just take a spoon and, and put that on there and spread it around. It spreads so nice with a spoon, it's perfect, right? So on the back of a spoon, and I'll just show you, you just spread that on there. Oh, that's perfect, look at that. It doesn't matter if it's messy or not. <laughs> okay, and the last one. Perfect. So, this is gonna be my quick lunch. And along with some keto breadsticks, oh my gosh, I have to tell you, I'm just gonna stick those right in there. That's gonna be a delight. And it was so quick, so easy. I hope you try it. Thanks for stopping by Keto in the Kitchen with Pat. Have a good day.